Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James, and this is Transformations. Hey, Drag Race fans. I'm inviting all of you to this year's RuPaul's Drag Con here in Los Angeles, and I want all of you to go to RuPaul's Drag Con Dot com and get your tickets. The dates are May 11th, 12th, and 13th. See you guys soon. Oh my God, I'm very excited. We have with us today the wonderful, the fabulous, the marvelous, Alexis Michelle. Hi, Hello, honey. hi James. This is the first time in the history of transformations that I'm not going to be all over you oh. and holding your hand and breathing down your neck and, and slobbering on you as everyone always accuses me of doing. <laughs> so tell me about how life has changed since Drag Race and what, are you, what have you been doing? It has been incredible. I've been traveling the world. I've, where's the most exotic places you've been? I've been to the UK four times this year, mm -hmm. which is really amazing. Yeah. Did you see a lot of British drag? Did you see? Oh yeah. Yeah. And do they are are they very embracing and loving of of the girls when they come over? Yeah. I had so much fun at a show called Porn Idol in London, okay. with um, Son of a Tutu and Bag of Chips. They were really. Oh, fun. I know Bag of Chips. Yeah. I don't know Son of a Tutu. Oh, you two would get on famously. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Really, really great. Um. So we'll go get. I'm gonna go get into my smock. And then we're gonna do, and we're gonna do a little transformation. Everything's gonna be fabulous, my God! Whee! Whee! And then I can go collapse. Oh, poor oh, thing. No. Are you okay to do it? You sure? No. 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 I'm gonna throw up. No, no, I'm fine. I'm oh fine. my God! I'm, you can, the look on your face, you're like, oh my God, was he? Wait, what if I did throw up? What like right into my up? lap. Okay, we're gonna change. <laughs> so, what are we gonna start with? What are we gonna do? So, I thought, you know, you have such a lovely open canvas for. Cosmetics. Wide open road <laughs> that just Wide goes open on. Wide open spaces. Uh -huh. And so I thought, you know, it would be really fun to do one of my favorite looks that has become sort of a trademark for me, which is a 1940s glamour with a little bit of a modern twist. Like a chanteuse, like a nightclub mm -hmm. noir dame. Yes. Uh -huh, like a, yeah, okay. Yes. I'm there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a little bit of primer. I'm gonna use two different kinds of primer. Uh-huh. Um, the first one I'm gonna use is a pore minimizing primer by Smashbox. And I use this like you and I are going to use it in exactly the same place. Is it cold? Am I going to? Am I going to? No, get... no, it's fine. It, it's silky. It's like you know, a oh, sailor's oh, semen. It is nice, yeah. sailor's semen. Yeah, uh -huh. comforting. We're going to use a little bit just here on the tip of your nose. I'm basically just looking for any areas where I can see the pores. And then I think we're going to switch to this other primer for the rest of your face. And this one is by NYX Cosmetics, and it's called Angel Veil. Vale. Oh, okay. Um, always be really delicate with your under eye area. The skin there is so thin. I always use my fourth finger yeah. because um, it has the least amount of muscle out of all your fingers. Um, pro tip, we almost never get pro tips anymore. Use your fourth finger fourth under your finger. eye. Well, do your little, that, that little one right there. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. that looks like a move I'm not acquainted with. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, a kind of warm toned ivory, and this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills okay. uh, foundation stick. If you go ahead and do a sort of base coat, it gives your finished product a really nice, soft, polished, blended You would look. carve out with the different- The various things. areas. Oh, see, and I've always been someone who wanted, who just covers everything and then goes and in. And then go in. Yeah. And that's what I've, I've come mm -hmm. to. I think that it, it gives you a nicer effect yeah. in the end. So this is a, a Krylon TV paint stick, mm -hmm. which has really sort of unparalleled coverage. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh dear. Now, do you have a, a significant other? I don't have a significant other. So it's just a nothing but one night stands at, at flop houses. Do you sleep with fans? Yeah, fans are people too. I did once have to tell a young man to stop talking about Drag Race in bed. There I did. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> so now I'm going to use a different color Anastasia <coughs> <coughs> um, foundation stick, this time in a color called chestnut, because I think it'll be a nice, warm contour for you. Okay. Mm. 
Are you a big social media person? You know you have to be, of course. How are all these people on vacation 365 days a year? Like that's all it is, is people living this fabulous life. Like why is my life not like that? <laughs> why can I not live the Instagram life? Listen, just, you know, get yourself a, a French bulldog puppy and... <laughs> Some avocado toast. Some avocado toast. <laughs> Not and the you, avocado toast. Uh -huh, and you too can be an Instagram star. <laughs> so now that you've got, you know, we've got sort of three foundation colors on you to bring out your facial structure, I'm gonna go ahead and map out the eyebrow. So this is um, a Ben Nye powder. Ben Nye is a sort of theatrical brand of makeup. So right now I'm just going to uh, set certain areas that we want to be totally matte and in a moment I'm gonna come in and lay in some shimmery stuff. This is my Anastasia glow kit. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of highlight here. Make your face shine like the top of the Chrysler building. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, this is a La Femme palette Ooh, yeah. and you can go online and pick which colors you like. Yeah, I, 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 did, I did enjoy drawing as a kid and I spent time in museums. My stepdad um, works at the, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Yeah, it's a fun place for stepdad to work. So I'm gonna do um, an eye that I've become a real fan of. Using neutral colors, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Uh-huh. And this is a sort of like terracotta color. One time when I was growing up, we were on vacation and um, my stepmother had the house painted while my dad was gone, while we were gone and he didn't tell my dad. And she had it painted um, like pink and orange because it was like a Spanish style, uh -huh. you know? And when, my, when we drove up into the driveway, my dad said, God damn it, Becky, it looks like a Tijuana house. And he said, how dare you paint my house pink and orange? And my stepmother was sort of a drunk and she said, it's not pink and orange, Bob. It's shrimp and terracotta. <laughs> <laughs> and I always, whenever I hear shrimp terracotta, I always say, it's not pink and orange, Bob. It's shrimp, shrimp and, and terracotta. terracotta. I will forever remember this story. I will never forget that. Now it's time for everybody's favorite, liquid liner. Okay. So, it's lash time. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> you feel how high it is, uh -huh. right? Going way above the actual lash line, we really just sort of pull the whole eye. Uh -huh. And it's like a lovely little eye lift effect. Oh, it Take a look like at a, that. It feels like an eye lift, it really does. Hello, mm -hmm. good morning. Yeah. Hello. Younger and older at the same at time. At the same time, isn't it amazing how that works? <laughs> because I'm really extra, we're not gonna do a red lip with one red lipstick, we're gonna do it with three to give Why it. Why not 10? Why not 10, right? <laughs> oh, that's the spirit Here girl. we go, let's do it. <laughs> First one we're using is by Morphe, and this is called Bloodshot. And then the other liquid lipsticks we're using are from a place in New York City called Abracadabra. Oh yeah! Which is a costume shop. Sure. And a few years ago, a fellow working there developed a line of uh, lip colors named after New York City Queens. And what are you doing with the WD-40? This stuff? Yeah. So, all I do is, uh, sometimes if I want to do a little bit of a glitter highlight on my cheek, I'll just take a little spritz, uh -huh. like that, yeah. and I just dab it. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Just like that. Do, 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 do. And now. And now. Norma Desmond, you're ready for your I close up. I do look a little Norma Desmond, you don't I? A, a pretty young Norman. Desmond. That's what I like to hear. Well, I guess I can go change into my outfit and then your outfit <laughs> and then the wig and yeah. then we're gonna be done. Oh my God, there are transformations. Oh my God, yay. <laughs> Woo! That's called feeling your fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> 
easier, but I just washed my nails. Thank you so much for coming. Thank I, you for having me. I've had a marvelous time. Oh my god. It's been wonderful. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go home and die. Okay. Get a little sick. Well, it's very <laughs> femme fatale of you to be so gorgeous and go die of consumption at home. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, baby. Shrimp and terracotta.